Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look back at the top stories we're following today. Police are still searching for several teens involved in a shooting in downtown Saginaw. Authorities say that someone opened fire from a vehicle hitting another vehicle while crossing the Genesee Street Bridge on Saturday. The vehicles then crashed into each other right in front of the TV5 news station. Three teens fled in different directions. If you have any information on that shooting, please contact police. And a top Michigan GOP leader calling Governor Gretchen Whitmer Attorney General Dana Nessel and Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson witches at an event in Oakland County. Now, Ron Weiser has issued an apology, but in an interview over the weekend, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson said it falls short, calling his words part of a dangerous trend. Now, Weiser also holds an elected seat on the University of Michigan Board of Regents. Four members of the board have called on him to resign from that body. Well, today is the last day for those affected in the Flint water crisis to sign on to the proposed $641 million settlement. That deadline is for Flint residents and non-residents who owned property or businesses in the city. For more information on registration, head on over to the hot link section of WNEM. Dot com. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Hi there, Colette. It looks like we'll be warming up a bit compared to the end of the weekend. We'll have some upper 40s and low 50s expected this afternoon. Our temperatures expected to uh, be a bit of an up and down ride as we go through the next couple of days. Your first one five temperature map shows a little bit cooler near the lakeshore. Some 40s expected there. I think our winds will briefly die down this morning, eventually pick back up again later this afternoon. Should be about 10 to 15 at their peak and occasionally gust near 20 and 25. Your first one five sky tracker shows things pretty quiet this morning. I'll have a chance for plenty of sun through the day on Monday and also just a few passing clouds. Those clouds not producing any wet weather and should move out as we go into tonight where clear skies take us into early tomorrow morning. We'll have a chance for a few rain showers Tuesday night, Wednesday, a few morning showers, another round on Thursday morning, and then everything dries out for Easter weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.